Good morning, Dan here from Sherp ET. The goal today is to teach you how to drive a Sherp. So it's probably about, I'd say 25 degrees outside right now. Because of that, we do have a diesel. So the first thing that we need to do is actually get, turn the key um, and actually get the glow plugs to work on. So, so just some quick overview here. So we have two different switches in this Sherp. One of the switches is this one right here that basically turns on the accessories. So if I shut this off right now, the lights are going to go off. So what that switch actually is intended to do to make sure that if there is some short someplace that you're not draining the battery. And then the second thing is right here is just like a regular key, just like uh, a car. Uh, when you turn that key like three quarters of the way, it will turn on the glow plug. So let's do that here real quick. So I go now and I turn that key. And as I do that, if you notice right up on here, the glow plug light came on. The it's the light on the left hand side. I turn that, wait until uh, that goes out. And she starts up. We'll let her warm up a little bit. And uh, after she's warmed up, I will go out and we'll take a look at how the controls function. So we have a variety of different buttons that exist inside of the Sherp. Let's just quickly go through each one of their functions. So the first one right here, um, this one changes the, the flapper valve inside of the exhaust which redirects air into the tires. In order, before you push that button, you go right down here at the bottom, right underneath the uh, driver's side and you turn this valve and by turning this valve that opens up the airway to the uh, inflation system for the tires, this valve right here. Second button we have here is for the windshield wipers. Uh, this one is for oiling the chains. This one is for oiling the chains. I marked the one that uh, was for the little chain, and this one is for the big chain, so you leave that on longer for the big chain versus the small one. This one right here is the internal cabin heater. The air comes out right down here below the cas passenger, excuse me, the driver. Uh, Next is this fan button. This fan button does absolutely nothing. That's actually from a previous version. This one right here is the horn. This one right here is the hazard lights. This one is like the running lights. This one turns the uh, headlights on. As you can see, there's high beam and there's low beam. I turned it to the left and then I turned it to the right. And then here, these are directional indicators. If I turn this on, the right turn indicator goes on, turn on it this way, the left turn indicator goes on. Up here we also have a variety of buttons. This one right here is the, the front of the cab, turning the lights on and off. Uh, I don't remember what this one is. That one right there turns on the camera, excuse me. We got a camera that goes in the back. And this one right here is again for the windshield wiper squirter. This one is. So that lets you know on that. In order to make the shirt move, you push in a clutch right here, which is very similar to a car or a truck or a tractor, whatever it happens to be. This one right here is the throttle. So the left, the right one is the throttle. Uh, the left one is the clutch. After I push in the clutch, then I go and I take. Um, See if I can move this down here. Then I move the shifter into the appropriate gear. Uh, going forward, you can start off up to second gear. So you can start first, second, third, that type of thing. And then there is also a uh, reverse with the shifter. So let's do that real quick. So we push in the clutch. We put it in first gear. I slowly let off the clutch, give it a little bit of gas if I need to, and we are now moving. Now, in order to turn to the left, 
I go to the lever and I pull on the lever to the left, which clutches that side. And then also what it does is it applies a brake. So the more I push, the harder it brakes and the faster it'll turn. Turn to the right, I just pull this lever. When I pull this lever, then we start to turn to the right. To stop, I push in the clutch and I pull on a brake. Normally you only brake one side. The reason of that is, is if you brake with both of them, and it, I would have if I would let out the clutch while both of these are braked, it would not move, but it is not good for it. If I would happen to stop on a hill, I would have one brake engaged, and then I let out the clutch, and as I'm letting out the clutch, I let out the other one. So I let out the clutch on the floor, and then I let out this one. You cannot pop out both of these clutches and brakes at the same time because if there's a lot of force there, it could actually break the master fuse and we don't like that. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'll try to give you some tips here going forward about some various situations. Hope that answers your questions.